she playing games, ditch her on oh, God, bro. It's not worth it. How can you even say that, bro? How, how could you even say that? Like, yeah, she liked me, but she ain't never trying to link. I'm gonna tell you a little secret about women that like that that woman woman do for the guy they like. <clears throat> Brother, she'll she'll walk in the rain, sleet, or snow to see that nigga she like, bro. Nigga, her father could be becoming a president right now. She if for the nigga she likes say come come see me, she's missing that whole uh ceremony, bro. She don't give up up. Real rap. She'll be there at, at night if she has to, bro. So that's actually one of the most dangerous signs to me. If a woman won't see you, ugh, that's that's bad, bro. That's why when y'all talk all this shit about text messages, child, I'm a little sick too and recovering from that, but that's why I sound nasally probably. Um, like you could text a woman all day, bro, but she ain't pulling up. She don't want you to pull up. Ugh. Go back to the drawing board, bro. Go back to the drawing board. Don't know what to tell you. Yo, Ty, I got this girl. And but she don't show it on text and she trying to act all tough. But I real she's I wouldn't care about her text messages, bro. Everybody can act tough over text. Everybody can talk all day over text. You could be the most a nigga could literally t I used to do this chat. Listen. Before I was online coaching, bro, I used to do this shit in real life, bro. So it's, it's a funny ass coincidence. I used to take my homies phone, text for them, and set up a whole link or something like that. Just in the time per period that I take a nigga phone and go back and forth. And you know what the sad part is? In person, you are gonna be exposed. So you saying she acting nonchalant over text, but in person she don't. Get it. So which one you think is more important, bro? To me, I wouldn't care. I wouldn't even check on it. Like, oh, you ain't texting me back today. I'm just not that kind of guy, bro. I don't even want her being all up on my skin like that. Especially if she can help me make no money. Huh? <clears throat> they would sneak out of maximum security prison to see you. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. I go to school with her, and she always trying to get my attention. Should I ignore her? Who, what are you even talking about? Who who cares? Do what you want to do, bro. If that's what you want to do, then do it. Yeah, man. How did you manage to stay cool when talking to a girl like Ruby Rose, like a celebrity, famous type of girl? <laughs> Brother, I know you don't mean no harm with that with that question, but it's just so funny to me because to me, Ruby Rose is a is a woman. Like she's a woman. She's a woman just as much as the next girl I walk past in the hallway of my apartment. Like, like I don't I don't get what you see. Like, you know what I mean? And I said that to her. I said, you know, I see all these clout and all this, but I'm, I'm in front of you right now talking to you as a person. And she liked that. Cue me getting a nine and nobody else got a nine except Kai Sinat. You know what I'm saying? That's the only nigga she linked. <sighs> clout is a hell of a drug, man. Clout is a hell of a drug. Z Press, I appreciate the T1 sub. You dig? <clears throat> Thank you for responding. No, for sure, bro. Um, chat, I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's something I people a while ago, before I was even a YouTuber, right? It was this chick I was messing with. She had, like, she had like 600K, but I went to high school with her, right? So I, I knew her back in high school. Um, but it was brief because she was, she was a grade or two older than me. But she, she had a crush on me back then and I liked her too because she was pretty, right? So Pepe Chino, I appreciate the 17 months. <laughs> One thing about me, bro. One thing about me, bro, is I treat everybody the same, bro. You could ask any content creator, celebrity I've met. You could ask anybody from my mom to my grandma to cousin to to to, to I'm senators, president of university. You name it, bro. Mike the Goat, I appreciate it too much, bro. Two months. I don't I don't treat nobody like more or bigger or better than the next person, like at all, bro. At all. And I first noticed, like I first noticed that that somebody of status or celebrity level notices that when I was messing with that girl again. Like I said, I first met her in high school, but she was older, so she'd been graduated before me. Like things split up in life, you know. So we weren't really talking like that. And um, one thing she really liked and respected was that I wasn't a fan. I was not a fan. I wasn't afraid of her. I wasn't intimidated by her. Like. You gotta stand on your squares, and man, you gotta stand on your principles because, yeah, this person got all these followers, all these clout, all this money, but what's their character? Like, what, like, do I even trust this person? Do I know this person from a can of paint? Like, who is this to me? To me, who is who are they to me? Respectfully, you know what I mean. And I don't, I don't talk to like, I don't, I like listen, bro. Even that Masego thing when Masego invited me behind the scenes to, to like to his own um, backstage to his concert joint. I didn't even treat him like a fan, bro. Like I was, we just like we talked like man to man, person to person. There's no, 
it, it's you gotta deflate that in your own head, bro. That has nothing to do with that other human being, bro. That's that's you believing that they somewhat special because they got clout, bro. I ain't special. I'm me. I'm me. This is just me being me. This girl telling to call her more, text her more, and go out with her more. And after I spoke her, because she didn't reciprocate injury before, do I spin back or keep doing my thing? Now, just make this be common sense. She wasn't giving you energy before. You fall back, which I call fall back till she crawl back. You know what I'm saying? You fall back. Now she come back on your dick talking about, oh, text me more, call me more, blah, blah, blah. Why would you listen to what she's telling you to do rather than noticing the effort she's not putting in? What kind of shit is that, bro? That's like somebody calling you and then saying, why didn't you call me? The phone works both ways. Don't ever let somebody sit here and gaslight you into thinking you ain't doing enough. The phone works both ways. Don't complain about my effort. I did what I did. I said what I said. You know what I mean? If I was you, I wouldn't start texting her more. I wouldn't start calling her more. I get her. I give her an opportunity to come over and suck this, get get cracked like some crab legs. And if she take it, then she gonna get blessed. If she don't, then go ahead and keep getting stressed with these loser ass niggas, bro. Like I'm, it's not my, it's not my loss. It's not really my L there. You feel me? I'm, how to open up a closed off girl to ask bougie? That's an advanced level question, bro. You gotta love the game. You gotta love the game. You gotta love the game to want to want to do that. Cause first of all, the average person want to see. Bougie and say, I'm trying to talk to her, which is what I think every man should do after he he's past his limit of applying pressure. You know what I'm saying? But me personally, I'm a you know my sense of humor probably well, I'm gonna try to do it through my sense of humor. Um, almost like poking the bear. I'm I'm, I'm definitely poking the bear. You know what I'm saying? I, it, it's just no script to it though. That's all I can tell you. Poke the bear, run your sense of humor. You know what I'm saying? And see where it takes you. My voice too ugly. So I asked you to send us an example and show us. And you said my voice too ugly. You, your message will never be taken serious. You know how many people have been exposed recently on the Patreon, bro? Or, or not Patreon, but like on this shit in general. Like, oh man, Ty, such and such. You know, I'm, what's up with the advice? What's up with this? What's up with that? Okay, how many women have you talked to in the last week? Uh, uh, th three? T two? Uh, 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 two? In a week? <coughs> oh shit! I, I I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, bro. But if there's any snipers in here, back me up. Rejection is not rejection, bro. That shot is never. That shot is not over, bro. It's never over, bro. I don't know how to explain it, bro. It's never done. <laughs> you you. It might be years later. It might be months later. It might be weeks. It might be days later. It, it could be later that same day. I I don't know. But until you put, get experience to see what I'm talking about, you're not going to understand. Like, rejection is not rejection. It's never, it's not over till it's over. It's really never over, for real, for real. Especially if you follow her on the gram, y'all go to the same school, y'all work the same job. It's never over, bro. It really is never over, bro. That's all I got to say. <laughs> you know, literally seeing that. With that Melt, that everything over, Melt was on stream with that girl. And she's like, oh my God, I know him. He tried Talk about me. I said, hold on, sis. Slow your roll. Did not try. I did. But I, all she was talking about was a DM. I DM'd her, right? And this was back in 2019, 2020. It's going on 23. She ain't answered the DM. We hopped on the live. She was on. What? This is three years later, sis. I didn't even. I just, I just shot because I wanted to shoot. It's three years later. You get on. Come on. We three years like, wait who? It was um, who are you talking about? What video was that, chat? Cause that was the that was the call he brought up the Discord and I went on there and talked to her. I don't know if I just can't take pictures, bro. But my gram never did me justice, bro. You know how many bitches I ran through in real life, like and followed on the gram and it just been a whole different vibe, bro. A whole different vibe, bro. She saw you got famous. That was my personal page. My personal page still has the same amount of followers. It, had for a while because I'm private. She didn't even know about none of this. She didn't even know about none of this. It ain't it ain't no she saw you out famous brother. I'm the same nigga. I'm I, I got two whole different pages, bro. I got two whole different Instagrams. You mean Kiki, but I don't that's that wasn't the name of the YouTube video. That was not the name of the YouTube video. No, he tried to it was crazy. Then she corrected it. I mean no like he shot his shot like 
Just say you want. That's what her mind. That was a Freudian slip. That's what that was. She was reading her own mind. Like, I get it, sis. I get it. I get it. I don't know if I should take down my homie's best friend's ex. My homie's best friend's ex. That's not your homie. I ain't gonna lie, bro. My only non-crushable characters, my NCCs, <laughs> the only non-crushable characters is my homie's exes, bro. Period, bro. If I want to, if you want to shoot, bro, then go ahead and shoot, bro. It, but I would never talk to one of my homies' exes ever. It's the it's too it's too much life out here. <clears throat> oh, it's, it's, it's too much life out here, bro. Had a girl ever left you, pimp? I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to sound arrogant with this, but anytime like me and the girl stop talking or or, or like she left me, it's because I probably was, I probably draw like, I probably draw like, I probably draw, you know, I. Do we need to go there? <laughs> That's why I tell you not to, you know, draw. But it, 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 I don't know, bro. I'm gonna speak on this, and if a nigga can relate, then he can relate. If he can't, he can't. I'm only speak on my experience, bro. I I do not deal with situations. I've never I, I cannot think. And if it has happened, then I'm I'm probably, you know, whatever the case may be. I can't think of a time, right? Especially if we if we ever linked. If we ever linked, right? Especially if we ever linked once or got on the phone or something like that. Anytime a, me and a woman have stopped talking and it wasn't like by my bidding or something. I'm not trying to be arrogant, I'm just speaking real shit, bro. By draw it, I mean I probably cheated or she found out I was messing with other women or I was doing something stupid like that, like prior to my days. But for the most part, bro, any woman I probably it, it probably was like a it, it probably was on my terms, bro. I'ma just I'ma just say that, bro. I'm gonna put it like that. Like it probably was on my terms. And if we never stopped talking before then, right? It never picked up off the ground. And by picked up off the ground, I mean we just was texting. Like I got her number and it just never went anywhere. It just was it just was it just didn't go anywhere. But if we started actually talking, I, bro, I don't think I've ever been cut off, and I ain't did something to get cut off, like like cheated, like been inconsistent, like it always was a cause of something like that. Like it never was like when you say left, like oh I don't like him no more, yeah, like that's crazy. Can any nigga relate to that, bro? I can only speak on my experience, bro. I can only speak on my experience, bro. I'm dead serious, bro. I I. Cannot think of one situation where I was messing with a chick and it was just like, I don't like him. It never was like that, bro. Never. Unless it, unless we never got there, and that don't even count. That then that don't even count to me. Like if we, I only got her number. We just texted. We never linked. We never got on the phone. It just was one of those situations. Like you bagged her, you flirted, and it just, just, it just was like nothing. Like it just never went anywhere. Y'all might still follow each other on the gram. You know what I'm saying? It just wasn't it just wasn't that deep, you feel me? Now I've been rejected. I'm not saying I've never been rejected. That's not what I'm saying, chat. But once we pass like talking or something like that, or getting on the phone or something like that, no nah, nah. It's a lot of times, chat, where bro said it wasn't was it pink. It's a lot of times, chat, especially when I start prioritizing my business and grinding and shit like that, where me and the woman might not work because I'm not willing to do what it takes to be to, 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 to maintain that. Like, I just don't, I won't. At this point in my life, bro, if, if, if what my attention is not enough for you, if what the time you can get is not enough, go get what you want then. You know, that's how most, that's, that's how it's been for me very, re like, pretty recently. Like, I'm not, I don't give a It's a lot of situations. And this may sound cocky, bro. I'm just not willing, I just, I'm not willing to do all that, bro. And if you a guy that has that begs women to be in his life and you desperate and you get rejected all the time, you might not be able to relate to this because you might not have it might the ball might not be in your court. But I, the, the brother, humbly speaking, like if the ball is not in your court, you'll reach a point right where you're you're not more. You're not desperate. You're not thinking. What you're, you're not trying to prove anything to the woman you're talking to. You can only think like this. I'm not trying to prove anything to any woman I talk to. I'm not trying to earn nothing from her. I don't. I don't. I, I, I'm not chasing behind the sex. I'm not playing. And you know what I said? I, said, I was on a Patreon call earlier, and I, and I had the perfect term for this. I'm not with her on her terms. That's the best way to explain it, chat. A person on their terms. Every time you see them, or or, or mind you, this might sound selfish, but things could be mutual. 
That's the bottom line. When y'all see each other, y'all want to see each other. When I say on her terms, this is my example. Y'all won't text unless you triple text. And this goes for women too. Chris told me that's on period. This goes for women too. If y'all don't text unless you double text or triple text that person on their terms, I would never do that. If 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 everything everything you do is a, a one way sacrifice, like it's not even like y'all both busy. So when y'all spend time together, y'all both equally sacrificing time. Because it's been time like that, like where if I'm seeing a woman, bro, nine times out of ten, she's she's driving to me or she's coming to me or Uber or something. Like I I I'm not trying to go all the way out of my way. Personally, personally. And when a woman take that trip, I love that. I, you know, that's the that's the highest first sign to me of like I respect that. Cause she respect my time. She respect what she was that fact that she wants to link. Joe Skinny, I appreciate the 13 months. So if a woman go out her way to come see you, bro, to me, that's the first level of respect I got from, like, ew, like, mm, mm, I could damn near clap her up coming in the door, like, yeah, like, to me, to me, and it's not an egotistical thing, bro, because then after that, guess what, nine times out of ten, I'm probably doing what, I, what I'm doing on my end, the effort to make this a good experience, a good time we spending together. I'm not going to be on my phone, I'm not going to be all like, oh yeah, no, it's nice to... It ain't gonna be on that. She gonna have a great time. You know what I'm saying? So she gonna learn something probably. She gonna she, listen. She definitely gonna she listen. She definitely gonna have a unique sexual experience if it go there. <laughs> but you know, it's definitely gonna be worthwhile. That's all I'm gonna say. The crushing definitely never. It's not gonna disappoint. But on a, on a, on a, on a scale of like, who on, on somebody's terms is y'all just do. I'm going to give you an example. This was the Patreon call who made me say it. He said um, he told her he was just trying to make out. And then she told him she's not trying to do that. And then I said, you know what? You're at a crossroads right now. One one is you f leave her alone. You cut her off. Y'all on two different pages. Let it go. And the other is you lie to yourself and say, all right, you know what? I just want to keep spending time with her anyway. This destiny, and then he becomes the guy that waits three, four, five, six, seven dates. He'll he'll six, three, three, four, five months. He, he waiting. He's waiting just for sex. Like if you just wanted the sex, then you should have just said that. And if she ain't want to just give you that, then let her just. Now what you gonna do is though you gonna pretend to be in relationship. Now she's about to be hurt. You you do a whole sloppier, messier waste of everybody's time, bro. And you thinking that shit is, is pimping or player or something like that. It's not player, bro. You all just buying some pussy, bro. You know what I mean? <clears throat> <clears throat> what I want of things to say when talking to women females. You probably talk too much. I guess my picture. Are you the person I had that call? Wait, no. Wednesday. Yeah, that probably was yesterday. I had, last day yesterday was Wednesday. React to Iman Riz. I follow Iman on Instagram, bro. He's, he's tough. He's tough. He's real cool, bro. He, he got that calm. He got a real calm... Conversation when you talk to women, bro. Real rap. Real good conversation, bro. Um, real natural. How has content creating opened your options of women you get? Like now, IG models you come across. Who said that? Brother, I have treated, and I say this humbly. I don't even say this with ego. But I've treated every woman I met, no matter how big she was, the same as I've treated women before I was at a platform. And women still treat me the same and act the same. There's nothing new that my that this is unlocked for me. Women have always been submissive towards me. Have, have always been nice to me. Have always cooked or cleaned or whatever. Like the things y'all beg about. Oh, a woman's supposed to do this. A woman's supposed to. But if you're a man, like clout not gonna make you a man that she wanna do things for. Cause she's a woman would naturally wanna treat the guy. Bro, it's nothing you make her do. Like it's. She's going to do that. Unless she's just like dirty or something or like can't do those things. But she'll always find a way to, to treat the guy that she likes, bro. Trust and believe that, bro. What's the best way to handle two in one situation until your mans get there and you're not a shooter but you can handle it? Have a conversation. There's two women, two human beings, bro. You know what I mean? Like, you could talk to two people, woman or not. Or oh, somebody sent the, somebody sent the, um, so John. Somebody sent to John. You? Yeah, yeah, you got it. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Let me see. You come across your page. 
Hold on. I will give you. Man, I'll be there in there next week. Watch it. Oh, watch this. I think I put in the beginning. I think I put in the beginning where she's like, hey, John. hate me or love me. Yup, yup. Uh, see you. Thank you. I'm just worried about me and Kiki. Wait, wait. Oh, it's very few. Oh. We come across your page. Oh my God, him? Uh huh. Wait. Uh, you know him? Wait. Uh, wait, wait. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't know why. I don't even remember her doing all this. This is funny. What? 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 No, you lying. That's all you know what I'm saying? She had a couple <laughs> software updates. A couple, uh, saying, uh, mm. lying, baby, with time. <laughs> God damn. I don't know where the part at. I don't know where the part I'm looking for at, Chad, but that's the video. That's the video. I ain't even remember her being that, that excited, bro. Kiki baby, shout out to her, bro. But um, no, nah, bro. If you if you was to see, I mean, I, I sent one DM. The second DM was like a happy birthday. Oh, uh, you preaching to me, sweetheart. <laughs> <clears throat> this nigga just said, "Did you crush?" No, I didn't. No, I did not. Dig watching is crazy. It really is. Y'all niggas are crazy, bro. Black boy two two two. I appreciate the Twitch Prime sub. You dig? All right, Chad, let's go to one-on-one -on -one calls, bro. Yeah, I think it's a crazy, bro. This nigga said, did you crush? Like, what the, like we like we want... You know, people have seen me IRL and asked me shit like that about certain um, collabs I did. Like, y'all crazy, bro. Like, nigga, dude... <laughs> y'all crazy, man. That's all I'm gonna say, man. That is all I'm gonna say.